Hey guys, this is App Reviewer. Today I'm very excited to bring you a review on the Casemate Do-It-Yourself Custom Case, which is basically a case that you can customize completely by uploading your own images to a case canvas. So what I want to do first is just show you how you can order and make your own case, and then I'll follow this video up with the actual review of the case. So I'll show you the physical case, how it looks, feels, and fits. So what you want to do first is go on the Casemate website, and then under Custom Cases you want to hit DIY and click on Get Started. Now once this flash page loads up, you can see that you have a couple of options for your device. You can choose an iPhone 4S, a 3GS, Blackberry phone, Samsung phones, etc. So for this video, we're obviously going to choose the Galaxy Nexus, barely there. Click on that. And before you get started with uploading your images, you want to see if what layout you want. So you can either have a single image, three images, three images in a photo booth style, and also a grid, which is basically eight images. So after you choose that, I'm going to choose single image. You can choose a background color. I'm going to choose white again to keep it simple. And then you can finally upload your image. I'm going to go with a US soccer wallpaper right here. And you can see your image is right on the bottom left hand corner. And once you apply it on the actual case, you have a couple of options. You can either have a color or black and white. I'm going to choose color. You can rotate it around 360 degrees. And then you can also zoom in and out. So I'm going to zoom in slightly just so I can have the whole case colored up. And then once you have the actual design in the place that you want and you're happy with your overall case, you click on Buy Now, and this will save and add the case to your cart. So you can see it's adding it to my cart, and then you'll be redirected to the checkout. So I've already made one just to practice, so I'm going to remove that one. And as you can see right here, I've got a code for $35. It will cost you $35 unless you have some kind of coupon code. And most importantly, you can see right down here, it says status, three to five days for order processing. So it will take three to five days to get the case made and then shipped out to you. So be patient because it is a custom case. So what I'm going to do now is just order this case. And then the next part of this video will be the actual review of the case itself. So here we have the case itself. I received it about five days ago. It took three days to make it and then two days to ship and get to me, which is not too bad to be honest. Now, you can see just how nice the case itself looks. It has some nice rich and vibrant colors. You can see you read the blue and the white very noticeably. Here's a US soccer logo. It looks pretty clear, no issue with it whatsoever. And that's even though I used a smaller image that I upscaled. You can see the Casemate logo right down there. And on the inside, it's worth noting that it's made for the Verizon model, but it fits fine on my GSM with the stock battery. Now, a couple minor mishaps I've had with it is on the inside, it has a little bit of a rough plastic. It's not rough enough to scratch up your device, but it just comes to show the quality of the case. And then towards the edges, you can see that the paint hasn't gone all the way through, so you have a little bit of a white sort of mesh gap right there, which isn't too pleasing, but you really can't do much. So what I want to do now is pop this on the phone and show you exactly how it fits. So installation is actually very simple. All you have to do is snap it on from either side. I usually go in through the volume rockers and then snap it in. You can see it's nice and secure in there. Because this is made for the LTE model, this will not work on an extended battery. So it won't work on the GSM extended battery or the LTE. Now here I've got the stock battery GSM model. You can see there's a slight air gap in there. It's a little bit uncomfortable and weird to hold, but it's not terrible to be honest. I've gotten used to it. Now you can see the design on the back once again, it looks really nice, very vibrant, and pops out. Taking a look at the cutouts, you can see the cutout for the camera is fine, no issues whatsoever. But I have noticed because of that slight gap in there, it does tend to collect a little bit of dust around there, dust and lint. So if you want to take this out once a week or so, just to clean it off, it'd be nice. Now right up here you can see the cutout for the secondary microphone. Nice and ample, no problems with it. As we work our way down, you can see the logo once again, Casemate branding. And then you have a cutout for the speaker. Nice and ample, no problems. Now towards the bottom and the top, I'm not a big fan of these cutouts because they leave so much of the phone exposed. So taking a look at the bottom, you can see that it just has this one large pill-shaped cutout. It leaves a micro USB, microphone, and headphone jack exposed. Now the benefits of this is that you have no issues plugging a cable or a headphone. But the actual problem with it is that you get a little bit of scratching right down here. And if you were to drop your phone, it may crack towards the bottom because there's no protection whatsoever. Now on the right hand side you can see two cutouts. One is for the three pogo pins. I'm not really sure why they included that because there's no accessories that you can actually plug that in unless you have the phone naked. Then you have the power button. Nice power button cutout because it's a naked power button itself. No issues with it. Works just fine. And then right down here you have your volume rocker cutout. Once again it's nice pill shaped cutout just like the power. All you feel is the button itself so no problems with it. Nice and clicky and responsive. 
Now protection wise, like I said, this is a super thin case. This is the barely there model, but it's just been fitted to have a custom back on it. Now, this will not provide much in terms of drop protection. So if you were to drop your phone, like I mentioned, if you drop on a corner or face down, you're really gonna have some good damage on it because the corners are left exposed. The screen has a very slight lip, but not enough to really protect it. But you will get some pretty good scratch protection out of it. Like I mentioned, you have the back covered, the sides are nice covered, but the top and the bottom are not. So if you pair this up with a screen protector, you're pretty much good to go for scratches. So if you want to make your own custom case, you can do so on the Casemate website, like I detailed before. Now, it does retail for $35, which is definitely expensive for this kind of case. You're mostly paying for the custom design. The case itself is just normal, it's average, nothing really special. But like I mentioned, the printing process on this is fantastic. And most importantly, this actual design won't wear off because that's a nice gloss scratch free coating so no problems with that wearing off over time now I'm definitely impressed with the design like I mentioned the case is nothing really special so if you're still decided on buying the case casemate is pretty much your only option to get a custom case so you won't be disappointed if you know what the case is which I just outlined now so you can pick it up on the casemate website which is www.case-mate.com I'd like to thank Molly for sending out the coupon code to get this case and all the other casemate crews. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more. Cheers.